Hey y'all, it's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. This is my long-awaited Black Friday haul. I was waiting for packages to come in. I'm still missing a couple of packages, but you know what? The show must go on. I'm going to share with you all everything that I picked up, including the products that I'm still waiting. So of course, I'll mention those once we get to it. I didn't go as crazy as I have done in previous years. I pretty much kept to my plan for the most part that I have mentioned in my Black Friday wish list slash recommendations video. Y'all, y'all would be proud of me. I stuck to my word for the most part. Um, <laughs> but we'll get into that. Oh, duh, my hair is straight. I got a silk press. I needed a trim and I was like, you know what? Let's just go all the way. I normally just blow out my hair and get a trim, but I was like, let's just go all the way. I haven't straightened my hair since, uh, this time in 2019. So it's been two years and my hair has grown. We did have to cut more than I normally would have. I was slacking a little bit in my hair care routine which I will do a like hair update video let me know if y'all are interested in that give me a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments if you want a hair update video because I got a little things um to tell y'all about and also keep myself accountable for things that I wasn't doing but anyways that'll come up in a video very soon but before we get into all of these lovely products that I bought, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week. So if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. Also, I will link my lippies just in case y'all are interested down below in the description box along with all of the products that I mentioned today. I <laughs> have wasted enough time. Let's just go ahead and hop into these goodies. First, we have some goodies from Nature's Little Secret. They had a 40% off sale. I'm mostly stocked on Nature's Little Secret, especially their styling products. So I already knew that I wasn't going to get a bunch of products from them just because I already am stocked. And y'all know I'm trying to work through my stash. But what I have ran out of is my beloved fenugreek detangling pre-poo. I love this thing so much. It is absolutely amazing. Has slip for days. If you like the African Pride pre-poo or the Just For Me Curl Piece pre-poo, then you will especially like this one. It has a similar texture, but it just has better for you ingredients than those. I went ahead and picked up three of these just to go on my stash. I didn't pick up the gel because she did not come out with the gel yet. Charnay messaged me saying that because of the supply chain issues, she wasn't able to get one of the main ingredients for the gel. So the gel is coming. It's just that, you know, it's out of her control. She's trying to get it out as fast as she can. But best believe when it drops, I will definitely be getting my hands on it and doing like a demo and a review for you all. But that's really all that I got from Nature's Little Secret. So next I went on to a Negas Banda. Negas Banda was doing not like a set percentage off. Basically all of their products were up to 45% off. So depending on what you bought, it may have like 30 percent off it may have 35 percent off it may have 40 percent off 45 percent off so on and so on so i can't remember exactly the percentage off for each product i mainly just picked up pre-poos from them they did drop some new products that i think i'm gonna go back and get but i want to like i said get through my stash but one of the newest things that i got is the nurturing remedy hot oil cream pre-poo treatment negus bunda does pre-poos right i've tried a couple of different ones from her and they've all been really really good and i've enjoyed them a lot so i was like let me go ahead and try this one out especially because it is like different than other pre-poos because it's a hot oil cream so basically like a hot oil treatment but in cream form i actually have already tried this out i will link that video up for you in the cards just in case you want to check it out and see if it's worth purchasing so i did pick up this then of course i had to go ahead and pick up my shebe 
pre-poo treatment. I actually picked up two of these. I've already gone ahead and opened up one and it's in my bathroom and I forgot to grab it, but I did pick up two of these. And then something that I like to pair with my Chevy pre-poo and really any other like cream pre-poo is the Green Smoothie Anti-Shedding Rinse Treatment. This would be my third and fourth bottle. I've seen such amazing progress with my hair as far as shedding. So if you suffer from shedding, you definitely need to try this out and pick this up. Next from a brand that I haven't tried before, but it has been around for a little minute and I'm just late to the party. That is Kinky Tresses. I picked up two products from them. I picked up the Cocoa and Mango Hair Butter and then also the Avocado Infusion hair milk. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this combo so I can't wait to try it out and style my hair especially since it is basically winter at this point. Georgia keeps going back and forth from cold and warm, cold and warm. Today was actually a warmer day. But anyways, once it actually does decide to be cold and stay cold, I am super excited to try these out. So we will definitely be doing a review on these if y'all are interested. I know there's probably a bunch of reviews on kinky tresses here on YouTube, but y'all know I always have to give y'all my two cents on whether I think something is you know worth the hype i'll keep y'all posted oh and i forgot to mention that kinky tresses was doing a 40 percent off sale a lot of y'all told me that the week before they had done like a 50 percent off sale won't won't miss out on that i'm kind of sad about that but you know 40 percent is still a good little percentage off so i hit up curls and potions site i got quite a few products from them their sale was a a little bit hectic but at the same time the way they did the sale I kind of do like I just think that they are going through what Sultanicals has gone through and is kind of still going through where their demand is kind of higher than their output like what they're offering which is like a good and a bad thing because it means they're growing but then at the same time you don't want to like piss off some customers because they can't get items with these smaller brands we just have to be a little bit patient with them and so they basically did a sale every day of um, Black Friday week so Monday through Friday they did a sale I think maybe even Saturday I can't remember but I know Monday through Friday they did a sale and it started off at 56% off all the way down to 50% off each day so day one Monday I had my cart ready and a lot of stuff just flew out of my cart and I was a little hurt I was a little sad but I went ahead and checked out because I didn't want any more stuff to fly out of my cart but then they told us that they would be restocking daily and then even towards the end of the sale they restocked twice um, just so that the people on the west coast could actually take part in the sale since it was starting so early at 9 a.m. But yeah, I did two orders. I bought stuff on Monday and then when I found out they restocked I went and got some more stuff on Tuesday. So first, I'm super excited to have these in my collection. I've heard so many great things about these, um, especially from my girl Mo of All Things Moel. This is the Rice Water and Acai Magic Rinse. I just cannot wait to try this out. I hear that it makes your hair so soft. I think that, do you use this before you wash or after? Okay, so you use this after you shampoo and before you a deep condition. And you don't rinse it out before you deep condition. You keep it in, then you add your deep conditioner on top. Let me know if y'all want reviews on this or really any products that I show y'all that I haven't already done reviews on. Let me know which products you're like most interested in a review on. But I got two of these because I just already figured I would like them. Another new product that I haven't tried out before is their scalp potion. And this is, I won't say that it's exactly an oil, but it's kind of like an oil and it has like a little dropper that you can go and just apply this to your scalp and really massage it in. And it's supposed to help stimulate hair growth. And the reason why I say it's not an oil because the first ingredient is water with hibiscus extract and then it has some other really great Ayurvedic ingredients and it really doesn't have a lot of oil in here. It has camelina oil, tea tree oil. I think that's it for oils. It's mostly like Ayurvedic ingredient based. So that was really interesting to me because most little like scalp care items like this are mainly oils and they're oil based. I have already been using this as y'all can see. 
she is almost empty and I'm going to have to go ahead and purchase another one. I'm going to see if I can show y'all. It really does need to be shook really well before you apply it. But this is kind of what the product looks like. And so far, I've really been liking this. I'm trying to add a little bit more of like scalp care and like scalp massages and oiling my scalp into my hair regimen. That's kind of something that I haven't really um, done too much of or been consistent with. So I definitely wanted to try this out. It also is supposed to soothe dry, itchy scalp and promotes hair growth. Like I said, I'm almost done with it and already need to go ahead and purchase another one. All right, so speaking of scalp care, I have two more products that are pretty new to curls on potions i think they literally came out right before black friday and they both focus on scalp care so first i have the conditioning scalp mask and then also the healthy scalp scrub i haven't really seen any products like these especially this condition conditioning scalp mask i haven't really seen any conditioners or deep conditioners that mainly focus on the scalp they may have like some tea tree oil or some peppermint oil or something that kind of invigorate the scalp but the focus is like the length of your hair but no this one is focus on your scalp so it's supposed to reduce hair loss promote growth improve a blood circulation and this is also kind of like something that you use before you shampoo and then the healthy scalp scrub so i have used um some exfoliating shampoos but i haven't used a scrub specifically for the scalp and that's what this is like this looks like a body scrub like look at that it looks like a body scrub and not like something that you would use on your hair so this isn't going to cleanse your hair this is literally to scrub your scalp so super excited to have both of these in my collection and try them out for y'all i do think these are limited edition so you may or may not still be able to get your hands on them i'll let y'all know down below in the description box if they're still you know on the website so the next product that i picked up from curls and potions is the henna gloss this was flying off of the shelves well virtual shelves it was flying off the website but i knew i had to go ahead and get my hands on this this is supposed to be a rebuilding and strengthening herbal mask so this is kind of like a deep conditioner it says to use it after you shampoo and that that after you rinse it out you can go ahead and style but We'll see how this feels on my hair. If I feel like I need to go in with a moisturizing deep conditioner, I will. But of course, I will do a review for you all on this. It has, of course, henna. It has some fermented rice water, some avocado oil. Can't wait to get my hands into this. We'll see how I like this. The rest of the products from curls and potions that I picked up are pretty much just some re-ups of things that I ran out in my stash that I really do love. First, we have the Shebe Clay Gloss. I love it. I hate it a little bit, but I love it. I hate the application. <laughs> there is like little to no slip, but I love what it does for my hair. Enough so that I went ahead and picked up another one. And then these next two products are their like rice water collection so i have the uh, bamboo and rice water gloss and then also the rice water and bamboo hair rinse i love to pair these two together but then i also do like to use this rice water bamboo hair rinse with other deep conditioners that i just want to add a little bit of like strengthening or protein to really love this this rice water gloss is really good it's a deep conditioner and it has like that protein moisture balance you would think like oh dang rice water is this going to be super strengthening and yes there's the strengthening properties but it's also super moisturizing as well um so i definitely wanted to have this in my regimen just for that protein moisture balance so those are all the products that i picked up from curls and potions like i told y'all i did pick up quite a few for those of you who missed out on the sale or maybe missed out on some of the products because like I said products were selling out so fast and you want to go ahead and maybe repurchase something in between sales or you want to go ahead you see these products are in stock now you don't want to wait till another sale you want to go ahead and pick these up i am officially a curls and potions affiliate so i do have a coupon code um for you all that'll be down below in the description box it'll be in the description box of every video as long as i'm an affiliate and as long as that code is active so definitely check that out of course y'all will be supporting me but also getting some 
coins off of your purchases as well. Okay, so from Sultanicals, this actually isn't technically a part of my Black Friday purchase. This was um, a collection that they did for their anniversary sale. I believe it was they were celebrating their nine year anniversary, but I figured I would just go ahead and mention it in this haul. I picked up their Curl Detox collection or something like that, and it came with five different Curl Detoxes. I've only tried the Pumpkin Kaolin Clay Detox from them, and I really do love that thing, like super bomb. So I was like, let me just go ahead and pick this up, especially because they had featured this one, the Shebe Kaolin Nourishing Locks Flourishing Detox at like a hair event that they did up in New York. And I was like, um, that's not fair. Like I want to get my hands on this too. And so they did include this in the collection. The fact that this has Shebe. Shebe is just that like super popular ingredient that everyone loves to put in their hair products. But I've noticed that my hair really responds well to Shebe. So I had to go ahead and pick this up. So this one says that of course it has Shebe, it has ginger, and it has Rasul. So those are kind of the main ingredients. Ingredients. The collection also included the Lemongrass Kaolin Anti-Dandruff Locks Scalp Care Detox with yellow Brazilian clay, lemongrass, and hemp seed oil. Then we have the Lavender Kaolin Stimu Stimulating Locks Hair Growth Detox with lavender calendula and Brazilian clay. We have the Blueberry Kaolin Thick locks strengthening curls detox with cambrian blue clay blueberry seed oil and extract and then lastly the rose kaolin soothing locks and nourishing curl detox with rose clay dragon fruit and hibiscus i think that kit i got all five of these for either 85 dollars or 95 dollars i can't remember exactly how much it was but it was between 85 and 95 dollars now for my actual Black Friday purchases, which literally just came today. I thought they were never going to ship, but finally they're here. Going along with the Shebe <laughs> theme, I got two of the Shebe Retha Butter Shampoos. And then also, I think, yeah, no? Okay, this isn't a Shebe product. I thought it was at first. So this is their Glide and Sleek Ayurvedic Fenugreek hair grease i am going to be focusing on more scalp care so i figured i can like grease my scalp and do scalp massages with this and i feel like i can also seal my hair with this like a butter and then the last thing that i picked up from sultanicals it's not one of their newer products like some of these are this is something that they've had in their collection for a very very long time and y'all have been raving about this deep conditioner so i had to go ahead and try it out for myself and that is the Afrotastic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treatment. Sultanicals was having a 40% off sale, by the way, so got these products for 40% off. So this next brand, I haven't gotten my package. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna try to be patient. I'm very impatient, but I'm gonna try to be patient. I was gonna purchase from Mish Beauty because I wanted to get my hands on their limited edition deep conditioners, but I was lucky to actually partner with them and they actually sent me all four of their limited edition deep conditioners so basically I'm kind of stocked on their limited edition deep conditioner so I I'm just gonna stick to my five brands and that's it but then Camille Rose had to come out with a dag on new collection and of course I had to include ding 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 Shebe which y'all know I am obsessed with Shebe now so I I tried to talk myself out of getting it especially because they're so and Sultanical sale started at the exact same time at midnight so I was like okay what am I gonna do am I gonna get Sultanicals or am I gonna get Camille Rose whichever brand I don't go to they're gonna sell out and so I'm just gonna have to you know pick and choose I was like okay we'll just we'll just pass on Camille Rose but then on Cyber Monday, Camille Rose decided to restock because they definitely sold out within minutes of the Shebe collection. But they restocked on Monday. I kept trying to talk myself out of it, kept talk talking myself out of it. And I was like, you know what? Just go ahead and get it because you know the people want to review. So I think this 
collection comes with a shampoo, a deep conditioner, an oil, an edge control, and a buttercream. I decided to get the black castor oil and shebe buttercream. Then I also picked up the black castor oil and shebe repair oil. And then of course y'all know I had to pick up the black castor oil and shebe deep conditioner. So I got three out of the five products. Of course once I get them I will do a review. That is all that I bought from Black Friday. I wasn't a complete angel. I know some of y'all had the willpower to not even participate in Black Friday and kudos to y'all. Y'all are a lot stronger than me, but I think the products that I did get are not that many compared to what I've done in the past. And they're mostly like pre-poos and deep conditioners and things that I will use up fairly quickly. But I hope that y'all enjoyed this Black Friday haul. Again, let me know what products that y'all are most interested in, seeing reviews, and I'll definitely start working on those in the new year. But I hope that y'all enjoyed it. Again, if you did, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye! Bye.